art. What is art, you may ask? It can be seen as many different things as possible. There is no correct answer for what art is, but some examples are historical records, expression, creativity, communication, personal reflection, cultural beliefs, and lastly, it can also be for entertainment. Art is seen differently in everyone's eyes. Some can see the expression behind it and others just will find it aesthetic for their home and others just won't understand it. There are different types of painting styles. There is realism, photorealism, expressionism, impressionism, abstract, surrealism, pop art, sculpture, cubism, and oil. The two paintings I will talk about are going to be Christ's Entry into Brussels by James Enser, and the second painting is a portrait of the Marquesa de Santiago by Francisco Goya. So the first painter I will talk about is going to be James Enser. He was born on April 13 of 1860 in Austin, Belgium, and died on November 19 of 1949 in Austin, Belgium. His style and movement of painting were realism, impressionism, Neo-Impressionism and Expressionism. He was a painter, engraver, writer, and did music. James was into the carnival since he was really young. His family owned a store where they sold carnival novelties, and he was always and he always saw the carnival and was very influenced by the carnival culture which was organized around the celebration of Mardi Gras each year throughout Belgium in which he saw society spells. In the painting, he masked the figures giving them faces that would express themselves internally for who they were instead of what we saw them on the outside. He would paint them as for who they were as people, but eventually this led him being rejected by society because most of not like his paintings or what they were trying to express. So the painting Christ Enter Brussels that he painted in 1889, the color around the painting is a mixture of different colors. There's greens, reds, blacks, and blues. These colors are very vivid and very out there. You can see the pop of colors from far away. As for the line work, there are all types, horizontal, vertical, curved, thin, and thick brush strokes. This artwork has some light to it, but most important question is, what is the meaning behind this artwork? So what I got was that it was based on the carnival. So you can see there are people, but their faces are shaped oddly, are weird, and some look like clowns. It gives it like a circus feeling, but that's not quite the case. The people in front are military and the clergy, basically the ruling class. They are all masked to try to emphasize they're in the carnival atmosphere, but at the same time, they're in a religious event that's also supposed to be depicted. James is making them look funny so that others can speak up and have a voice against the corruption. His overall goal is to give the rest of the society a voice. If we take a closer look at the Christ in the painting, you can see James is painted to look like Christ and he is on top of a goat. This expresses his empathy with the biblical figure that's being represented by himself. In my point of view, I feel like this painting looks like the circus and that the people with power are painted as clowns. It's, it all just depends on how you look at this painting. For the second painting, I will be analyzing the portrait of the Marquesa de Santiago. This painted was painted by Francisco Goya. Francisco was born on March 30th of 1746 in a small town in Spain and passed away on April 16 of 1828 in France. Francisco was a painter and a printmaker. Francisco art embodied romanticism with emotion and imagination. His art had a huge influence later on in the modern world. His art worth is worth a lot nowadays. It's even sold for millions on the secondary market. The person in the portrait is a Marquesa, which her name is Maria de la Soledad Rodriguez de los Rios. She was the only child of a very known family in Madrid. Since she was the only child, she eventually inherited the three noble titles of her parents and the wealth that came along. 
Share estates in Flanders and Spain. Two million reales in capital. Reales was a Spanish currency used from the 1300s to the 1860s. And, the, and two more in silver, gold, jewelry, and other possessions. She had a couple husbands. Her first in 1783 when she was 18 and her second in 1790 when she was 25. So like five years apart, it wasn't that apart. She was also the one who brought the world to her marriage. The line work is very thick brushstrokes. The same, the color scheme is a very dark palette where most of the color is focused on her and to be exact is on her face. Most of the colors used are black, blues, whites, with a tiny bit of reddish. There isn't much of a lining in the portrait unless you're focusing on her because the rest of the painting is dark. The meaning I get from the portrait is that the painting is to show women can have the power as well. It doesn't have to be just men who have the power. Or so, it isn't always portrayed that way. In the painting, we can see she has her hand on her hip to show her very confident stance or position. She has a white veil that goes up to her knees and she has a fan on her hand, which are both very traditional attire and accessories of Spanish women in the 1700s and 1800s. The Marquesa was also known for her very bold makeup to the point other people would talk and write about it. Francisco made her makeup very noticeable, very bold to the point where it stands out in the painting and you can see it. While in other cases, other painters would try to diminish it or not add it. But Francisco made her feel seen, made her feel heard in some way because he gave her some power by doing that. He painted her confidence, appeared, and personality. Both of these paintings have one thing in common. It strives to give her confidence in their own unique way.